Okay, guys, this is going to be my review of the movie Slumdog Millionaire. And, um, I really enjoyed the film. I think it was a very great, touching story. And what I love is you can tell a story about what is essentially two brothers and then a girl, which, is, again, wraps up to be, you know, a common theme of, you know, the three musketeers and whatever. And, you know, like being about brothers, you know, because I have brothers, it, it, it is an interesting, kind of relatable story on that level. But I, I think it's interesting because it's, it's a very much character-based story. There's no real big plot. It's just seeing these three characters, two brothers and, and, and you know, the girl that they like or the girl that Jamal likes, growing up throughout life and their struggle. And, and I think I love that you can have that kind of twist of it having to do with who wants to be a millionaire. Where the who wants to be a millionaire part is not part of that central story, but almost, you know, I guess capitalizes and is the epitome of kind of street smart, of this idea of, you know, Jamal never really went to school. They never went to school. But yet he was able to crush who wants to be a millionaire. He does that because he learns through his experiences. And you see his hardships, you see his struggles, but it it adds a sen it even extra sense of value that he learns stuff along the way. I think that's another interesting thing. Is I love that you can see his hard experiences, but th the idea of who of him being on who wants to be a millionaire is the idea of him learning through his struggles, him taking something out of it, but also not only do you know, Jamal learned something, but us as an audience learned something, and you can actually take something away from this film, because I learned a lot of stuff from this film, just about Indian culture, because again, I, you know, this is, this is a Hollywood made and produced film, but it has nothing to do with America, it has nothing to do with Americans, so I think it's a very unique film to watch, and it, you know, d does definitely deserve the best picture, where it's like great direction, you know, great performances throughout, it's just a touching story where it is sad, it is emotional, but at the ending, it's just um, satisfying. Well, it's like, yes, Salim dies, but he goes out, you know, helping, you know, Latika, you know, and helping the girl. And it's it, it can be so much. It can be, um, you know, a tragedy at some points, but yet yeah, that romance. And, um, um, but it's just an interesting journey because I, through these characters. And what I love is that you can tell a story but you don't have to glance over every single, glance onto every single detail, where they show key points of their of their life and key points of their journey, and um, where this film is told out of order. But what's so interesting is you see the question, and you're almost playing along with them. Where it's like you get to watch who on a version of Who Wants to Be a Millionaire, and then some. And what I love is it's very clever. Of oh, how does he know that actor? Well, this happened, but it, it connects to a tragedy, and it connects to a dark experience that you won't wonder why he knows about that actor, because it's connected to a dark, unforgettable experience. And I think, um, and just again, it's a very much a character-based story. You, you follow Salim, you follow pretty much Jamal, really. But because, again, it's mainly about these characters, you really do, you know, um, care for these characters. Where, what I love is because it's a care based and I'll say this again and again, again because it's a character based story there's plot sto there's plot driven stories and there's character based stories those are like the big two different um, types of stories films would you know cover and tell but because it's character based you you don't need a whole like sometimes shows get, Nate give you five episodes to fall in love with the characters but here you can just see their hardships see their struggles as f at five. At 10, at 13, at 20, and now whatever he was, like 20 something, I don't know. But I think what I love is that, that that I think if you took away the who wants to be a millionaire part, it's still a great concept. It's still a great story of the struggle, and all the who wants to be a millionaire part is it adds to that. It adds to the greatness, it adds to the meaning. That's another thing. We're. You just, where I'm alone, a story of, you know, three kids struggling to, you know, survive, struggling to make a living, going through hardships, you know, having struggled to succeed, struggling to make a, you know, make do of life. And what adds to that is, yes, we can understand that he learned something based on the story, but it puts, it puts, um, uh, what's it called? 
puts light. It shines light and puts the spotlight on the fact that he learned something. And I think um, my big takeaway of the whole idea of Slumdog Millionaire is he, you know, wins, but because he didn't go to school, because he seems on the outside like he's dumb, but that yet he can um learn through experiences, hard, dark experiences, and he can take away something from it. And I think it's interesting because I think we don't, I, I, I haven't seen a lot of films like this. A lot of films where it's just solely going through a character's tough, rough journey throughout decades, throughout years, throughout stages of their life, and based on their age. And what I love is also where the characters go emotionally, physically, um, uh, uh, mentally, but also their lo- lo- location wise. But also more, I think also interesting is their relationship to each other. How, you know, sometimes Salim's mad at Jamal and and they get, you know, into fights and they have falling outs. And yes, Latika's there and the romance is somewhat shined upon. I don't think the romance is that strong. You don't fully feel it. But what you do feel is that connection between Salim and Jamal. So you feel something when Salim, you know, dies. But you also feel something equally as strong when they're fighting. And you feel something equally as strong when they're working together and hugging each other. Because they give development to these characters where you can have great characters that you learn and you explore with great locations and again setting an indian having these indian characters and culture and diving into the indian culture i you know never knew anything about that but also again adding to that i think um uh yeah um diving into the characters and their relationships with each other and i did their different dynamics and um and going through how their different phases of their life and how they learn from their past selves, learn from their younger selves, I think. Um, I just think you, you really see these films that give that much care to their characters because that's what makes this film. And what I love is you can tell this great story of friends and brothers and, and romance, but have that adage of, he's playing who wants to be a millionaire, and you pay attention, you have... Where we're on on the one scene, you see you think the stakes are very low, but you understand that it's not about stakes. It's about just this journey. It's about journey. Where they were, if I were to say what's the plot, there was no plot. It's, it's this idea of you see Jamal and Salim and Latika go through life together, and and their struggles and their hardships, but yet they learn something from it, and and Jamal learning something from it gets him to win who wants to be a millionaire where it's like you can and that can be said in reverse jamal goes on to who wants to be a millionaire and his experiences helps him learn stuff learn knowledge learn stuff through his experiences that help him win and i love that extra adage too that nobody believes in that that everybody's against him that he has to face a lot that he is still judged even then on who wants to be a millionaire. It isn't believed, and I, I love that again. Keep on adding to the, I guess also another theme of this film is the underdog. You know, the, these are two, you know, underprivileged kids who, who who don't have a lot of stuff, you know, going for them, but yet they're still able to learn stuff. Because I, that is really what I think, because like when you think of who wants to be a millionaire all these game shows, it's all about what do you know? In this just idea, that, that um what's that um what's it called that, that Jamal can learn something through his dark dark experiences that we get to experience along with him. It is a very touching film and it definitely deserved best picture, great directing, screenplay, all that stuff that it won and nominated. Like again, I don't think any like the acting was like was Oscar worthy and it didn't get nominated no one. I think um I don't think the Latika Jamal relationship was that fully established and, and thought out and, and, and executed perfectly. Not not what I mean executed perfectly, but I think it felt a lot less emotional weight than the Jamal and Salim relationship. So when you know they when Latika and Jamal when they get together, you still care for her, but on, on, not on the same level. But anyways, I really enjoyed this film. Stay tuned for more videos coming at you.